Here is a classic handshake problem with a twist. So let's go ahead and read the question and we can then decide how we would like to solve it. There are 100 people consisting of 50 married couples in a room. Assuming that no husband or wife shake each other's hand, but everyone else shakes hands exactly once, how many handshakes are made? So that's our question. Let's read the question a couple of times and pause the video and try to think about the solution. So before we solve our main problem, we're going to solve a simpler problem. Let's say right now we have eight people and four married couples. I mean eight people comprised of four married couples. So I have eight people, four men, four women, the four women are married to the four men. How many handshakes will be there if the husband and the wife, if they don't shake hands with each other? For the sake of simplicity, I'm assuming Anne is married to Alan, Beth is married to Bob, Cindy is married to Carl, Deb is married to David. Now, now how many handshakes would Anne have? Well, Anne will shake hands with the three women and she will also shake hands with the three men. She is not shaking hands with her husband. So altogether, Anne will have six handshakes. Now, Let's try blue. I think blue is easier to read. Okay, so Anne will have altogether six handshakes. There are eight people, and Anne is going to shake hands with everyone except for herself and her husband. So eight minus two is six. So I can say the same thing about each of the remaining seven people. Ellen will ha also have six handshakes. I'm just going to write six here. Bob will have six handshakes and you want to double check if if my claims are right for each of them. I won't draw the picture for each of them. Beth will have six handshakes, Cindy will have six handshakes, and Deb will have six handshakes. Now let's go ahead and list altogether how many handshakes I should have so far. Now intuitively we can say, or at this stage, let's say there are eight people. Eight people, the total number of handshakes is going to be eight times six equal to 48. Now there is a problem with this argument. One, If you stop here, your answer would be wrong. There were not exactly 48 handshakes and this is a very difficult or challenging part of the problem. So you really want to pause the video and, and think about it. Why 48 is not the best, is not, not the correct answer. Now let's explain it this way. Now when I am counting this handshake between Al, Ann and Bob's handshake, as Anne's handshake and the same handshake was counted as the handshake between Bob and Anne. So each handshake here was counted exactly twice. I'm going to go over it once again. This blue handshake, if I can say that, between Anne and Deb was counted as Anne's handshake in this six and was also counted as Deb's handshake in this six. So 48 cannot be the right answer. My final answer is is 48 divided by 2 or 24. That's the answer. Now we're going to go back and use the same concept to solve the original problem. So assuming you understood the simpler scenario, if you did, you can do it in a very similar way. I have 100 people. Each person will shake hands with the 98 remaining people. Where is 98 coming from? 100 minus 
to Y2, you don't shake hands with yourself and, and anybody is not shaking hands with his or her spouse. So out of 100 people, each person will claim to have 98 handshakes and there are 100 people. So let's first multiply. Let's first multiply 100 by 98 and that gives us 9800. However, we know that can't be the right answer. The answer has to be this number divided by 2 because in this technique 98 has been um, 9800 shows every handshake counted twice. So my answer is going to be 4900. Once again, you really have to understand why 9800 is not the valid answer. 9800 is the number that counts every handshake as two different individuals' handshake. So our answer is 4900. Let's write that down here.